hitting every red line. Oh sh! That dude just hit that fucking car. What's gonna happen? Damn, he took his headlight off. And he rode away. He rode away. Look, there he is. There he goes. So today is a day that makes me feel like I live in Los Angeles. I don't feel every single day like I live in Los Angeles, but today in particular is a very Los Angeles type of day. Started off with boxing. Then from boxing, I went straight to Hollywood to meet with David for a web series that we're gonna do. So we're in the pre-production mode of all of that. And then I had to shoot to pick up Amy. And then I had to go straight to an audition in Santa Monica for a commercial at 12.30. Then after that, I had to go straight to North Hollywood for another commercial audition. And then after that, I don't know. Honestly, I couldn't tell you what I did after that because I'm not doing yet. I'm meeting up with David right now. Oh my gosh, my life is like an acorn in a time portal. I got the lens. I didn't actually get it. What is the what does happy hour entail? Happy hour? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a menu right now. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, to others it is birthdays, to others it is who knows what's going on. But to me, today is the day that I get to see Anthony Bourdain in the flesh. And this is a big deal to me, because I really, really like this dude. He is like that one dude who is like, okay, if you could have, you know, if you could have a beer with anybody, who would it be? Bourdain. If you could have lunch with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be? Probably Bourdain. Yeah, that's how much I like the dude. I'm going with Charles to watch a, uh, not a screening because it's already aired, but to watch the Rome episode from last season. Bourdain's gonna be there, he's gonna do a little panel, maybe he'll take pictures. I brought Kitchen Confidential just in case he wants to sign it for me. I don't know what's gonna happen, but even if I just see him, my life will be changed forever. seen in my entire life. You know what is weird? For one, on the box, or usually you put oil in pancakes, and secondly, on the box, it's weird that there's pancakes, but then there's a recipe for thin pancakes. It looks like a loaf of sourdough bread. No, it actually looks like French toast. Yeah, maybe I made French toast. Which 
Thirty-five. Do you need that flat rate bar? Goodbye, my old friend. I will miss you. But uh, I'm really excited for your older brother. Welcome to the hotel.